Day 8. Course is ready to leave HMI and head towards base camp. Keep yourself hydrated. Okay? Keep yourself properly rigged. किस काम के लिए कहां पर निकल रहे हैं किस समय निकल रहे हैं उस हिसाब से अपना रिग तैयार करना है पहले एडवांस में ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि फॉल इन हो रखा है और उस समय आप सामान ढूंढना शुरू करें कि कहां पर रखा हुआ है ठीक है आपका ट्रेनिंग बहुत अच्छा किया है आपका परफॉर्मेंस सभी का अच्छा रहा है और मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आप लोग बेस कैंप में और उसके ऊपर क्लेशर में भी अच्छी कार्रवाई करेंगे The trainees are divided in numbers of vehicles and course leaves for Yuxum, Sikkim. It's a four hour drive till Yuxum. Yuxum is a historical town in Gazing subdivision of West Sikkim district in the northeast Indian state of Sikkim. It was the first capital of Sikkim established in 1642 AD by Phuntsok Namgyal who was the first temporal and religious king of Sikkim. The trail from Yuxum starts after breakfast, the trail climbs gently out of the valley and hugs the right bank of the Ratonchu River, which can be heard thundering through the gorge below. The trail crosses over four bridges to climb steeply towards northwest to the small settlement of Bukim. Continue for another 3 km through forest of magnolia and rhododendron to reach Choka. Trainees stay another day in Choka for acclimatization. On day 3, trainees trek through dense rhododendron forest. Choka to Jongri is a tough stretch, involving a climb from about 9,700 feet to 13,000 feet. It's a steep incline so trainees start feeling the altitude. <laughs> During trek medical officer keeps on checking blood pressure, pulse and other health issues. Day 4, course starts their final push to base camp. Day 4 trek is the toughest of all trek where they have to cross Zongdrai Pass which is at 14,600 feet then descend all the way till Bikbari.
from Jongrai Pass its an steep descent of almost 1,800 feet till Bik Bari. Fresh snow in Jongri Pass makes it harder for trainees to descent. After Big Bari trainees are mostly above the tree line. Above tree line the weather change fast, and it change frequently. After reaching Big Bari, trainees starts their final push till Chorik Hang. By then trainees starts feeling bit breathless because of altitude. It is a gradual ascent all the way to the base camp. Three days of trek and trainees finally reach HMI base camp. Advance course trainees and instructors cheers and welcome basic course trainees and instructor at HMI base camp. Chorikang which is located at 14,600 feet is home to trainees for next couple of days. The name of the base camp is Chorikang, which means grazing place of yaks. It is situated at an altitude of 14,600 feet above the sea level and settled in the Rathong Valley. The location of the base camp is perfect. First fall in at base camp, duty instructor Sonam Sherpa welcome and brief trainees about Chorikang. Before starting my briefing about the base camp, just let me tell you, you can see out here, this one is your, our kitchen, whatever things, is a food items, of course you'll get here. Okay. okay, that time almost your food is almost in like the condition of finish or you'll find the cold one. Yeah. So what you have to do, you have to fall in, just like paanki jese karte hai, jese line pe, okay? You have to come like that way, it's just, and most important thing, everyone should come and collect their food from here. No one will just take help from your friend. Get my point? Yes, sir. Sun is out at base camp and advance course is packing to move for advance base camp. Advance course trainees distribute equipments, ration and all other need item which they need and leaves for advance base camp. Hello. Medical officer brief the trainees about high altitude sickness and other medical issues. Here to brief something, okay? So always follow the timing, as the instructor said, okay? Some of your friends may become sick or they will be in MRU. Okay, please come and help them, okay? It will be a moral support to them, okay? Sometimes they will be waiting for someone to get food, okay? And uh, I will be really appreciate everyone 
we were all motivated in each other and coming here. Okay, it is a good thing. Go to five meters. Go to one meter. Any volunteers who want to stay on base camp today? No, no. sir. No. Sure. Yes, sir. And one thing, one more thing is that timing. Please maintain your timing. Okay, something. First day at HMI base camp. Technical equipment are being distributed. Later trainees are taken to viewpoint for acclimatization and briefing on surrounding. Trainees are taken to base camp viewpoint for acclimatization and briefing on surrounding. We'll start from the Shiraj Guru, basic course instructor briefs the trainees on surrounding peaks. That range was known as North Panther Range. We have crossed that pass. Dikrao Pass? Yes, sir. That is Zongri La. Zongri Pass. Right? See that white patch. Dikra? Yes, sir. So that is our training area, which is called Rathong Glacier. Yes, sir. So tomorrow, just to reach there, you will take more than three hours. Afternoon trainees are back in base camp. Rope wires equipment are being distributed. Rope number two. Okay, John, Projol and Nihal. Yes, sir. Rope. It is now the responsibility of trainees to look over this equipment during training. Instructors of each rope gives lecture and demonstration about Grand Ponds. Now, okay? Tight rock. Okay, tight. Now, what is the name of the name? Thumb knot. Thumb knot or Jobina. Okay, tight. Thumb knot. 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 Thumb Walking demonstration with crampons and snow boots. कल देखना कोई न कोई तो होगा डेमो देने के लिए ठीक है ना तो हम में से क्या रखना है गैप गैप दोनों पाँव पे and you have to walk ठीक है fitting हो गया yes जिस जिस का fitting हो गया है trainees are learning to wear crampons with their snow boot for the first time. This is not coming proper. See, it should be like this. It is coming. Okay. Like lunch? Yes, sir. All fit? Yes, sir. Okay, now we have a class on self arrest. Alright? Because from tomorrow onwards we'll be going for glacier walk, right? We'll walk to hill climb the hill. If you fall, how can you arrest yourself? We have a class on that. All right? Yes, sir. So, okay, break up and go to that edge. Afternoon lecture and demonstration on self-arrest. Before practice in snow, trainees will practice self-arrest in slope. It's a sunny day. Base camp is covered with fresh snow. Trainees trek couple of hours for slope. Even with good skills there is always a possibility of taking a slip or a trip and if you do, 
having the appropriate techniques to self-arrest is paramount. If you're not belayed with rope, self-arrest is the only way of stopping a fall in the snow. प्रॉब्लम आप लोग का प्रॉब्लम है क्योंकि अनफेयर नहीं होना चाहिए आप लोग को लगा बूट लगाए हो फिर दूसरे को नहीं लगाना ठीक है ना तो सब के लिए फेयर है आप लोग भी नॉर्मल सुबह जाओगे देखो जो लेट चलेगा मैं उसको वेट नहीं करूँगा समझ आ रहे कोई भी उसको लेके नहीं जाएगा क्लियर First day of the glacier training, trainees have to walk approx 4 km to reach Rathong Glacier which is their training point. They have to walk through big boulders, frozen river, scree, moraine and almost on every kind of terrain. Instructor put trail marking flags for trainees on the route to Glacier. After reaching Glacier trainees start swearing their harness and crampon. Yeah. 
trainees are roped up for glacier travel. This glacier extends from Rathongla in the north almost to the top of Chaurikhang Valley in the south. It is fed by the Mount Rathong Peak and Ice Falls of Cabra Group of Peaks. Standard glacier travel technique involves tying teammates together a certain distance apart with rope. These distances are based on how wide the crevasses are. Instructor gives the lecture and demonstration on anger base. Rope wires trainees practice on making anchor base. Revision of rappelling which they have learned in Darjeeling. Demonstration on ice climbing is given by world-class mountaineers. Glacier training also include Coordination of ice axe and crand ponds Pick and toe method Side traversing Ice wall climbing up and down with the help of ice axe and crand ponds. Rathong Glacier in a way has been the birthplace of many mountaineers from India, who have learnt their very first lessons in ice craft over here. The glacier has good and plenty of wall options for training of ice and snow craft. Vertical ice climbing is done with crampons and ice sacks. Climbers kick their legs to engage the front point of the crampon in the ice, and then swing the ice sacks into the ice above their head. This technique is known as front pointing. After a hard training in Placia, trainees enjoy hot lunch in base camp.
Anda, anda, anda. Oh ya. Oh ya. Ada. Persimut beri. Mau jaga mesti. Ia jaya. Betul. Pekka. Ia bilai lo. Ini dekoh. Kaisi kani ka. Dan cawal. Doctor and his medical team keep close watch on trainees. Even at 14,600 feet, HMI has all basic medical facilities needed for trainees. In HMI base camp, we have a medical inspection room. During the monitoring course, there will be a doctor and two nursing assistants to provide medical facilities to the students. Medical inspection room runs 24 7 to provide medical facilities to the students and the instructors and the helper party who are staying in the base camp. HMI base camp is at the height of 14,600 feet and the students coming for doing the course staying at the base camp should follow the things to prevent from high altitude illness like do not always skip meals take 5 liters of water while staying in the base camp always have wearing the headgear and while going to glazier always apply skin sunscreen lotion and wear dog goggles in 1954 sir Hedman Hillary along with Tenzing Norge came to HMI base camp and made some research about this place and presented the silver hut which is brought by helicopter to this height. Past 60 years it was used as the medical inspection room for the trainees and staff. This is HMI base camp's helipad. In case of students become very sick at the base camp or at the advanced base camp, we give the information to the Bagdogra Air Force Station and the helicopter comes down to this HMI base camp and picks up the sick student and uh, takes them to the Park Dogra. We give the information to the Park Dogra Air Force Station through the satellite phone we have in Achimai Base Camp and the helicopter takes off from there and comes here by minimum one to one and a half hours to pick up the trainees. Also we give the weather report information to the pilot before they take off the helicopter from Air Force Station Park Dogra. For the next couple of days trainees will learn various techniques in Rathong Glacier, activities like Z pulley, C pulley, ice climbing, rappelling, fixed rope climbing, anchored basin zoomering. One more thing just guys, make sure, while doing this, so if she is making it, a jet pulley, she is doing nothing, yes? Just try to save your body. If it sounds like an icicle or anything, just try to overcome those things, okay? That's it. Yeah, like this. Or you can keep it like this also, aside like this. Okay? Keep on just like watching an upper side, upper section. Yeah. Yeah. 
Roll it, guys. Carry on. Guys, you guys are forgetting one more thing, big thing. To log the ticket. Yes? In the previous year, you guys made the same mistake. Even right now, you guys are doing the same thing. Don't forget to log the caravan's gate while doing this kind of rescue system. Do you have a point? Okay. The rest is fine enough. Good going, good going, guys. Okay, everyone. So right now you can see we are doing this like a rescue system. Especially, uh, we have two type of rescue system over here for basic course. One is the sleep relief for the conscious victim. One is death relief for the unconscious victim. So why we are doing this thing is because in mountains, whenever we are going for the expedition, we have to rope up. So that time, you know, it's quite uh, becomes uh, necessary to know the rescue technique because the other chance is in front of the first person. Uh, may just uh, get the users, uh, it can be a hidden one or it can be an open one also. So the other uh, member will just uh, protect the person who fallen into the givers. So after this what they can do, they can just make the system and it's quite safety and it's a very safety and you can see starting this stage is a very safe one and you can take out the victims from the givers and it's you know it's like a, every mountain should know this technique. So even we are teaching this technique at our rafting place. Thank you. Hold, hold, hold the rope, right, please. Yeah, yeah. Keep your leg one leg down. Yes, slowly. Yeah, yes. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. That's perfect, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to release the rope? अभी ये है ना आपका गेट इस तरफ है आपका आप ऐसे डाल दिया ना ठीक अब अभी इसको आप इसमें क्या करोगे यहाँ पे लॉक करोगे कर दिया अभी आप मिडल रोप देखो कहाँ पे अभी कूलिंग वाला कौन सा है ये है ना अभी ये आ गया अभी आप इस तरफ जा रोप के इस तरफ ना ठीक फुल अभी ये जो बना रहे हैं ये लोग जेट पुलिस सिस्टम है तो इसमें जो विक्रम गिरा है उसको पहले आई मेथड सिस्टम से हम क्या करते हैं उनको रेस्क्यू करते हैं देन ये वाला सिस्टम जब अगर आपका विक्रम कंसेस है तब उस चीज़ में हम करते हैं ये अभी आपका स्लो मोशन में चल रहा है आप एक्चुअल एक्सपीडिशन वगैरह में जाओगे अभी कहीं हो गया आपका एक्सीडेंट वगैरह तो आपको उसमें ये सिस्टम फास्ट मोशन में करते हैं One two full. One two full. Okay, we are doing jumaring and rafting today, and the weather is so good. And our students are uh, very good, and they are improving day by day. They are working hard, as well as the instructor are working hard, and they are perfect, uh, perfect for the uh, perfect for ice climbing, uh, jumaring, rafting, and it's a uh, uh, fine weather. So uh, we are doing great. All our team are working very hard uh, to make our course complete. Zoomering lecture and demonstration in base camp. And then we'll practice today double zoomer technique. J U M A R. So these two Swiss climbers, they were the first people to introduce the zoomer. Adolf Jussi and Walter Marti. 
and after that once they have invented this device so they wanted to give some name to this device iska kuch naam dena chahte the so they thought so many things but at last what they decided from adob juicy from juicy they took ju and from walter marty from marty they took mr so it became what zuma so the zuma is the name of the device now your body weight should be on your chest zuma and the upper body should be straight do not lean back okay stand push clear yes sir फुटबॉल नहीं ढूंढना है ये नाउ यू कैन गो साइडवेज ओके हो गया ये पुश अप पुश map reading which is one the important class for mountaineers is also going on and as per that just try to find a straight line and this thing over here रोप नंबर एट ना आप भी अपना जितनी सामान एक खटा कर दो एंड कम ओवर हियर विद नोटबुक एंड पेन बात करा दे रहा हूँ Principal HMI who keeps some close eye on course performance talks with trainees and motivate them. Good morning sir. Bolo. Bolo na. Good morning sir. Principal HMI good morning to all of you. Good morning sir. How the course going on? So it's going really well. We are learning a lot. It's going really well. We are learning a lot every day. Good and how is the health of each one? Ah uh, yeah. Some of us are having some minor issues but other than that The entire course is doing good. Is the others also listening me? Yes, uh, sir. Yeah. sir. Yes, sir. That's good. And how the food there? So the food is really, you know, uh, well. I really appreciate all the staff, you know, who are making uh, this, uh, you know, delicious food that to at this height for us. And that was also commendable because you know they took the cylinder all the way up to the glacier and gave us tea over there. So that was really commendable. We appreciate, we appreciate. At the same time, see, it's uh, just uh, another one week or ten days for completion of the course. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we are looking forward to complete the course successfully, all of us. Absolutely and absolutely. You are the one who is to make it happen, and uh, you all are putting your efforts. Keep your spirit alive, focus, determination, and keep on doing a good job. Thank you so Thank much, you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your support. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, sir. sir. The whole faculty is with you. The instructors are there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are always with us, guiding all us and helping us. Yes, sir. All, all, all the, all the instructors. You most deserve Isaac's. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. I wish you very good luck. Best wishes, Jai Hind. Jai, Jai Hind, sir. Okay. Luck, sir. Jai Hind. Ah, sir, fast over. Sir, thanks. You have great support and you have good motivator there. Keep them up high. The speed should be high. Look after them and get them safely once they complete the course. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Going out there, Jai Hind. Jai Hind, sir. Stop. Today we learned how to do sumaran. It was a very good technique. 
so the main part is when you're using the technique there's no need to pull your body up means there's no need to you know put more strength if you're using the proper technique then you can do it easily in the first time i was not using the proper technique but after using it properly i was able to do all the zoom arc very smoothly so that was the best part काफी कुछ सीखने को मिल रहा है रियली ऑफ ग्रेट हेल्प ईच वन ऑफ दम एंड फ्रॉम स्लो वन स्टडी स्टेप्स छोटा छोटा चीज है जैसे ये अभी करना सिखाया जो मैं थी Uh, it's just very tiring. The first time I had a hard time getting over the ledge because the front zoomer was in the way. But the second time I think I got the technique down where I was able to push myself off a little bit. So it's a little bit better this time, but also very tiring. Last day at the glacier. Ice climbing test of basic mountaineering course is taking place. Okay, so today is our last day for the Ratun glacier and today we are having revision of all technique. So today we have a fixed rope, anchor base, crevasse rescue and so many different things. So now the ice climbing test is going on. So from out of 81 So Lakpat sir and me, so we'll be selecting the best technical student of this course. So this is the main reason. Even this is a test for this all whole course. training of course at Glacier Zems Advance course at 16000 feet Roshan Gatranj director of advanced mountaineering course briefs about the advance course we started from Dazli then after reaching base camp we had a load ferry for two days then after we shifted to ABC now the training for the advance course is for 7 days 
at the ABC and the training will be uh, at the glacier for five days. Out of five days, they are going to do fixed rope, artificial air climbing, uh, two pit and climbing. Then after they'll fix on their own. In basic course, what they do, all training will be, uh, the rope will be fixed by the instructors. Now here in advanced course, what they will do, they'll fix the rope on their own and everything, the, all the training will do on their own. As far as the fitness of the advanced course, this time the, we have a good uh, uh, students because like they are tough enough to do the training. And out of that we have like out of 51, we have a nine girls who are really uh, doing well. Like especially the girls from CRPF and the, from the private uh, companies. But they, they are doing well in this advanced course. Then. The course is for like we are going to stay here at the ABC for seven nights. I have already told you before also. Like out of seven days, we have to complete all the training as well as at the last day we are going to do the high training that is at the Dr. Bizan Bidan Chandra Roy P. The course provides advanced training and experience of climbing a mountain in an expedition under the supervision of instructors. <laughs> The advanced course empowers a trainee with knowledge of actual climbing done in expeditions. Life is hard at advanced base camp. For food every evening trainees have to line up and fill the buckets with water which is also a part of training. Also equally commendable is the effort of the kitchen staff who works day and night to provide basic but nourishing food even in the most challenging conditions. Evening trainees gather and pray for height gain day. Height gain to Rinok Peak. This outstanding trek to the summit of India's magnificent mountain, Rinok Peak is the perfect challenge for trainees who want to summit an Indian Himalayan peak.
fresh snowfall makes it more tough to trek. The final uphill and trainees are all roped up. After a couple of hours, course reached to the summit of the ridge. And finally trainees of basic mountaineering course summit, Mount Rinoc Peak. The summit offers you great views of the area. The wide and open surroundings gives royal feeling. Finally some free time and trainees are enjoying in base camp. First batch of search and rescue course is also going on. Trainees graded in the advanced mountaineering course are eligible for this course. The course covers search and rescue operations in the Himalayas with particular reference to rescue techniques on rock, snow and ice, first aid, mountain navigation, radio telephony, liaison with various organizations and their involvement during rescue operations audio and visual communication signals and evacuation methods including use of helicopters. <laughs> The trainees are doing the rescue exercise with medical officer. So uh, we are just telling our medical officer what had happened and how we how we operated the victim till our base camp. So as I was telling our medical officer, our victim Gajay sir uh, faced from a fall in a, while doing an activity in Rathong Glacier due to which he had, he suffered from a spinal injury. Medical uh, officer giving the corrective system. drill and procedures to follow. So one one was the medical team. Okay, how Just many one. are they? Okay. Actually, we are divided in three type, uh, three teams. First one is medical, second one is navigation, and third one was carrying the victim. Okay. And I was the team leader. So uh, with what height you found the victim? What is the height exactly? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand feet. So you found. Uh, have course spinal injury, right? Yes, sir. Okay. From head to toe, we have, uh, first of all, I have seen the uh, head part. Okay. So, there was no injury there. Okay. Okay, I have checked the spinal part. So, we actually don't know how much spinal part is. Then, we have to know that when the four limbs move, karte, then we came to know that it is uh, spinal injury. Mm -hmm. Phir, then, I have checked the whole part, uh, leg, leg, legs. So, he was not having any wound. Mm -hmm. Then, then we have, the family have decided that he was suffering. He was suffering from a spinal injury. I come to sir. First, 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 first
दवाई जेका डिक्सन लगा दिया ठीक है और फास्ट उसका बाद सर उसको मैंने स्ट्रेचर में लगा के एकदम डाउन करना है फास्ट ठीक है मैं बोल रहा टेरेन ये तो इतना स्नोफॉल हुआ ये तो टेरेन बंद हो गया क्या कर सकते हो कैसे प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं और ये गंडा के बाद क्या क्या चेक कर सकते हैं आप निकल के इस प्योटो गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग मैम हैप्पी यस मैम हाउ वाज द ट्रैक टू यस्टरडे ग्रेट मैम एंड कांग्रेचुलेशन ऑल ऑफ यू ओके थैंक यू मैम गुड वी आर सो हैप्पी यस इट इज बिग नंबर वी हैव बिग नंबर्स जिसने सबमिट किया था वेरी गुड अच्छा लगा यस मैम आपको काम आया यस मैम गुड Next day after the summit, lecture demonstration and practice suspension and Tyrolean traverse. First, whoever the crossing the river, expert swimmer, will take a big stick. A uh, stick. Okay. Usko kya? That will be belayed, and he will just take support with the help of stick and. Cross the river. So this can be made in the crevasse and the and for the river crossing. एक cross करके जाएंगे. You have to find a base. अभी क्या है? In lower altitude, you get base like boulders, trees and all. But in higher altitude, you have to make your own artificial base. It can come down. It will not go up. It's not possible. ठीक है? ऊपर खींचना बहुत ही मुश्किल है. It's very difficult to pull something up. Okay? Both legs straight, okay, and join it, right? This me kya hai? First, put your legs, cross it, remove your. Don't throw it, okay? Abhi kya karna hai? Put your. Oh, it's nice. Put your elbow, right? Open the gate. Hip up karna hai, right? Hip up. Just remove the carabiner, hold the rope, and slowly get down. Suspension traverse and Tyrolean traverse can be used for traversing water bodies, big pits, or crevasses with the help of rope. Kind of 
No. Zuma se kaise hoga? Once you put your weight, you'll just be hanging like this. How you'll shift your weight, Zuma? Not possible. ठीक है? यहाँ भी दिख रहा है आपको. This is also a half. Very easy to open. See? You just push it back. It will open like this. यहाँ पर भी क्या है? Again, here is also half it. दिख रहा है आपको? So half is just pull one side of the rope. अगर इफ यू आर मेकिंग नॉट वंस द वेट विल कम इट बिकम्स मोर हार्ड टॉक एंड देन इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ठीक है यहाँ दिख रहा है हाफ इंच हाफ इंच दिख रहा है आपको वेरी सिंपल यू गो लाइक दिस डू नॉट डू फुल 360 राइट तो यहाँ से आप बीस से डालोगे अगेन यहाँ पर भी हाफ इंच डाला है वेरी सिंपल वो पकड़ो Got it? Yes, Course director Lakpa Sherpa takes the last class about stretcher making on base camp. The stretcher is very important equipment needed during any rescue operation. A stretcher can be made from locally available materials. Ropes, sweaters and shirts can be used to make stretchers. इसी तरह क्रॉस करके इसके अंदर बैंबो स्टिक आपको बस ऐसे 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 इसको ज्वाइन करके स्टिक को भी ज्वाइन करके भी स्ट्रेचर बना सकते हैं समझ आ रहे हैं ये जो फिगर रोबे रहे पहले जमाना में क्या था लोग जितने भी रोब फिश करता था फिगर रोबे के ऊपर में ऊपर हेल्थ चीजों के ऊपर में क्या है फिगर रोबे � काफी प्रॉब्लम होते हैं। अभी लेटेस्ट कौन सा नारे? ग्लोबीज। समझ आ रहे? यस सर। इसमें क्या आप आप छोटे भी बना नहीं सकते हो? ग्लोबीज के ऊपर में क्या है? आप बड़े, छोटे सब बना सकते हैं। छोटा पड़ गया था उसको। वहीं पर Wires trainees practice stretcher making. Okay, if you are making four this side, that means four should be. Order. Jera si kita lagi, ora si loopi ya, tadi nak kita nak nak usah. Two. Now. Side. Three. After successful 12 days of training in base camp, trainees are ready to leave and trek back to Choka. Next day trainees will reach HMI. After two days downhill trek to Yaksam, trainees are back in institute. Sports climbing competition is going on. Okay. 
Principal HMI takes interview of trainees about their course experience. You have the vast experience. You know, 22 peaks or 20 peaks is not a small, a small number. It's a large number. You know, in the best of the mountaineers who have done a lot, they they yet you. In fact, even, even I have to log on this many peaks, you know, it will take, take long time. I have my register, I can show it to you, sir. Come on, man, we are, we are not going here. No, no, sure, sure. no, no it, it is good. Thank you, sir. It is so heartening to see uh, you have climbed the, these many peaks and uh, we we'll surely look forward to be in the team, man. Sure, and sir. let you know. Yeah. Uh, wish you all the success Thank and uh, keep it up. Thank you, sir. I'll see your performance doing extreme, extremely well. They absolutely okay. no doubt in that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. See you, man. Yeah, thank you. Last task of the course, written test of trainees is conducted day before graduation. <laughs> graduation ceremony day. After 27 days of training, trainees are ready for big day. Today they get their ISACs and certificate. Instructors are lined up to welcome the chief guest for graduation ceremony. Sri Amarnath K, IPS. Superintendent of Police Darjeeling is the chief guest of graduation ceremony. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are honored by the presence of our chief guest, Sri Amarnath K. IFS, Superintendent of Police, Darjeeling. Thank you, Pinocchio Patches, to the successful trainees.
Mit dieser Sache. Finally, 28 days of course comes to end with lots of knowledge and memories, trainees will cherish entire life. Before people whom they have never met are now good friends and will remain forever. It is earned, for it stands testimony to sweat and toil of tough training. It identifies men who have seasoned their mind to choose the tougher option over softer one. It perhaps a way of life that signifies that they are mountaineer. Mountaineer? One who explores the unknown, and I am the one, you are the one, belongs to this unique tribe called Mountaineers.